Hello and welcome to Wooden Graphite, the number two pencil based video channel on the internet. Today we're taking a look at the Mittens Analog Movie Titler. So this vintage beauty is the Mittens Analog Movie Titler. Now, I bought this from Etsy for about $75 or £45 depending on where you live and most of that in fact was shipping because it came from New York. Now this thing is from the 1950s and the reason it existed, the way you would use it is before the advent of personal computers we didn't have any way to have titles on videos and the only way to do it was to make the titles yourself. So some people drew them, some people Hello, used um, acetates or sort of letter set type letters but another way was to use these which are basically ceramic letters that you can lay out in a scene and then you, you clamp your camera into a top down perpendicular to the floor setup. You set up your titles and you film them and that would give you sort of a number of frames of this title that then you could cut in at the beginning of your film. Now the box is a little battered and some of the edges have some tape holding them together but that is not the important part. What we care about is what's inside the box. Now there is something missing from this box. There's 150 letters and as far as I can tell they're all there but what is missing is the uh, Mittens stickum is what it says in the front of the box and that appears to be some sort of adhesive that you'd use to stick them down non-permanently uh, if you wanted them to be on a horizontal surface or on a wall or something like that. Now given that it would be 65 years old now I don't think it's going to be sticking much up at the minute so I don't mind too much that we don't have it. And these are the letters themselves. I mean the font is absolutely gorgeous. It's some sort of 1950s art deco style font which I may in fact turn into a digital font at some stage because I like it so much. You can lay the letters out and you can set them out to, to spell out whatever you want and then you film it and so Nothing has changed. This, this is a technology that hasn't been outdated in time. I find that absolutely fascinating. So we have this technology, which is 65 years old, and yet I can use it with my modern DSLR camera just fine because you're just filming letters. And so it doesn't matter that they were built for film cameras or they were built for an age when we didn't have computers. I actually like these titles better. I think they look much more natural. I think that the lighting on them is really awesome because they're 3D letters we can have actual lighting effects so we can get a drop shadow we can get big highlights we can get this kind of thing and it's all real because we're lighting the letters and there are 3d objects in space you can do this in cinema 4d or other programs like that but the, the point is what we have here is genuine analog lettering titles and that's really really awesome that's not something you see at all anymore being that this channel is all about analog tools and pencils and and doing things the old style way and analog way I thought it was quite fitting to have analog titles and so I'm going to try for the next videos I'm doing to do analog titles and to incorporate these within the video and not in some sort of gimmicky way but I actually think it could could become the default way that I do titles and I think that's a really awesome thing. So one of the most famous uses of analog titles is one that you might not expect. Star Wars has that opening crawl that we're also familiar with but actually this was filmed with a transparency that they basically pulled along while they moved the camera back and so it had this fading away effect. And when I saw that, it absolutely blew my mind because that is something that we, we just take for granted. I mean, in the, in the prequels and the new ones, they obviously just do it with digital effects and that's fine. And you've seen it parried in a thousand films and TV shows. But we never stopped to think that someone had to conceive the way to make that happen in a time when we didn't have, you know, computers in every house to do that kind of thing with five or six button presses. And so they had to build something that would let them film something to give that effect of titles moving away. And so... It's, it's been something that I'm really, really fascinated with and, and finding this set online and thinking, oh wow, I could do all of my titles analog and have real, real analog letters and, and something authentic in there really, really struck a chord with me. And it's something that I wanted as soon as I saw them. And I, I managed to find this set, which is absolutely mint condition. There's nothing missing apart from that age old stickum. So it was just fantastic. And I'm so, so pleased. You should absolutely check out the Etsy store that I bought this from. It's called the Atomic Attic. I'll put a link down in the description below. Uh, but Ricky, the girl who runs it, was absolutely amazing and just helped me every step of the way and, and really, really helped out on shipping because I, shipping was half of the cost of this item because it was coming from New York State. Ricky was amazing because she just sorted everything out and made sure that I get this item in mint condition without any of these little ceramic letters getting destroyed in the air meal between New York and the UK. So absolutely fantastic. I can recommend everything in her store. Go buy everything because it's just all gorgeous. So I'm going to go play with my vintage analog titling set and I'll leave you with a look at some of the, the titles that I came up with. 